Hey! Welcome all you OGs out there, whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me. This is Julie 1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And I'm here from the sunny, frozen shores of Valheim. No, actually, I'm here from the sunny, frozen shores of Fjordor on Ark, and I'm here today to do a video that I've been waiting to do for a very long time, and now's the perfect time to do it, because <laughs> Ark is currently, as of the recording of this video, available for free on Steam. And I've heard a lot of people say that gaming is too expensive, it costs too much money, there's no way I can do this, so I can't be a gamer because I, I, I just don't have the funds for it. Well, if it's because a game's costing too much, let me tell you something. There's a boatload of free games or very low price games out there on the different platforms. You just have to look for them. And one great place to look for them, and I, I'm not sponsored by Steam, but Steam is a place where I basically <laughs> have my whole library. If you see my other videos, you see all those videos, a lot of those are free. I just happen to keep checking and find things that I like to play for free. I mean, they're not brand new games, but you know what? My motto is, if it's new to you, it's a new game. So what I'm gonna try to do today is I'm gonna do a, a walkthrough of how to set up an account on Steam, if you've never done that before, and just show you how easy it is to just grab a game that's absolutely free and download it to your computer. If you don't have a PC, Steam is for PCs. So if you're a console player, then you gotta look for whatever platform you're playing on, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox or whatever monthly service they have. If you're if you're playing on those two things, you're probably already paying for that service. Get the free games that they offer each month or on a regular basis. Make sure you snag those when they're free. Because most of the time, if you get them when they're free, then they're yours as long as you're part of the service. For Steam, once you get it, it's yours. You do have to be able to run Steam to play it, but Steam doesn't cost anything. There's no charge monthly fee or any of that kind of stuff to be able to run Steam. So that's a, a great alternative. Epic Games also has free games. Some people have problems with the launcher on Epic, so I'm not really gonna go a lot into that one, but this video is gonna be focused on Steam. And if we need to do one on Epic, then y'all leave a comment below. Let me know that's something you're interested in. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to do is get games out there for people to play. Life is tough. You need something to blow off some steam now and then. And there's games out there for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're 10 or 30 or 90. There's something you can play. So let's go ahead and see how this process works. All right, we are here in Dr. Google. <laughs> we are going to type in steamunity.com. All right, so that's where... You download Steam, and then you'll see when you get here, it says install Steam, and this will install Steam on your computer for you to play with. You wanna to get to, welcome to the Steam community and join Steam, All right? So you click on that. Now we're gonna create our account. So you'll have to put in an email account, and then you'll have to click the button that I'm not a robot and play the, let's select the squares with the crosswalk. I love these thinking bot games. Okay, verify, yep, I'm not a robot. You have to check you are 13 years or older <laughs> before you can get the agreement and then hit continue. Okay, and it's gonna ask you to verify your email. So it's gonna send a little thing that says, hey, is this really you? And you'll have to go open up your email and verify that your email account is accurate. Okay, so now that's verified once I hit the button on my email account. And here we go. So now we have an account name. So here's the thing about Steam account names. Put whatever you want to in there. You can always change it later to anything else you want it to be. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put old gamers on here and then you'll choose a password. You'll put something in there that makes sense to you. I have to have eight characters, gotta be numbers and letters. You know how to make a password. Okay, and then hit done. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> yeah, no spaces. Okay, we should be good now, right? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Done. Okay, and now we have our account. And once you get your account installed, then you can go to the install Steam button and download Steam. And this will download it to your computer so you can start getting games and then install them on your computer, okay? So we'll quickly walk through how that works 
and then we'll go ahead and we're going to get us some games. How about that? I've already got Steam on my computer, so I'm going to walk through some of this stuff, but I'm not going to go through the entire process because I don't want to overwrite what I've got. So when you hit install Steam, it's going to come up with an install Steam icon. You click on that. It's going to give you an exe file. When you open the exe file, you're going to want to say, do you I want this device to work on your computer? You put yes. And then you'll go through the steps to install a program, you know, just like all the other programs that you install on your computer over time. Next, uh, English is the language for me. And it's going to ask where to do it. You put it where you want it and you hit install. And it will install the Steam program on your computer. And this is kind of the gateway to all the games that they have. It's where you can load funds on either through setting up a credit card. Or frankly, I just go buy Steam cards at the store because I don't like to have my credit card numbers all over the place. And this way, I don't have to do that. I just go buy Steam cards. I put the Steam code in there and then I know how much money's in my account. But you don't have to have anything in there because remember, these are free games. Okay, so we're going to go back to our login page we go okay so we are in so now what we can do is we go to the store and we say hey store what do you got when we're on this page this is a store page and we can just go down and look and say okay these are different things that i might want to search by so i want to see how many friends i have out there that also have this well you know i just started the account so i'm not gonna have any friends on there but you can add people that you know that are also using steam and then you can kind of compare you can make all this stuff private if you want to there's a lot of settings in their profile that you can kind of go through and set up the way you want to set them up but what i want to do is make sure we go to the free games okay, so free to play but right now these are games that are out there that are absolutely free so we have star wars old republic that's free master duel is free lost ark that's free that's not ark survival of all that's a different game counter-strike you know, if you got vr Brawlhalla is a kind of a scroller game. This is a top down for Dota. Here's a racing game, Hot Wheel type thing. Apex is a shooter, you know, PvP battle royale type thing. You know, there's lots. We can sit here and go through this all day long. But what we're looking for is, and there's a list of all these games down here that are all free. Now there's also parental filters that you can put on here. So if you're worried about, you know, what your kids are watching, the setup for the Steam account is up to you and you can set it up however you want to. And there's lots of videos about how to set privacy settings and all that. Now going into all that here, what I want to be able to do is show you how to download a free game. So we're going to go in here and we're going to look at ARC. So know that's free and we're going to click on that. The free. And there it is. And if I want it to add to my account, it's 100% free, $0. Yes, I will take that, add to account. Okay, I'm not currently running the Steam application, again, because I didn't want to install it over top of mine. But if you've installed Steam, it's going to be running. And yes, you'll just install it to Steam if you want to install it. Right now, at to this point, the success I now have on this account, Arc Survival Evolved. Okay, it's mine. It's mine forever as long as I'm on Steam. And that's pretty much it. That's the way any of them work. And if you're in a situation where you really don't have a lot of funds to go out and spend money and buy a bunch of games, well, here's the solution for you. Sign up for your free account in Steam, download the Steam launcher, and then go out and look for the free games on Steam. And there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. And there's all kinds of games, as you saw from what I just scrolled through before. I mean, when I go back to the store, back to store, and then I go back and look at the free games. There's tons of them. Now, some of these are DLC, like this, this uh, Destiny stuff is not free. That's DLC that you add to it. And it's got the prices on all that stuff. So you just gotta be careful what you're doing, but you just go through and say, look, I wanna see what the free games are. And these are free games. So lots and lots of games to play. You don't have to spend anything. You've got a computer and an internet account that you're already paying for. You can go out and get your games. Now I will kind of put a caveat on this. If you look at, so let's, let's look at Cycle. Okay, Cycle's a free game. You can go out and you can play, get this, download it to your computer and play it. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to watch for is you go down to the bottom of these things, it'll tell you what the recommended system requirements are. So minimum and what's recommended. So just keep an eye on that. If your computer is not a gaming console, you're just kind of using the computer you have around the house, make sure that it can run the game that you're downloading because some of the newer stuff does take a lot of processing power. But certainly you'll be able to find games that you can play. Cycle's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, i5, eight gigs of RAM. The other thing about the Steam website in the library here is there are a lot of games. Let's, let's do this real quick just for kicks we'll go back to store and we're going to look at home we're going to look at on sale top sellers new releases specials specials that's what we're looking for right and these are games that are on sale right now so 
Final Fantasy, big game that people like, is a 29% discount. So regular 69, now 49. If that's what you can afford, great. If that's what you want to play, fantastic. But I mean, a lot of these games, if you look at them, let's see if I can sort by price. Repurchase what's being played, new and trending. Uh, but I mean, here's one. Assassin's Creed, gold edition, 13 bucks. Assassin's Creed Origins, $8. Hell Let Loose, if you want to play a shooter, well, that's $26. But I mean, when you look at my library, I've got a lot of games and most of them cost me less than 10 bucks, if not free. You just have to watch the sales and there's a sale every Wednesday and every weekend. And then there's big sales. Like right now they have the next fest, which is a celebration of incoming game, upcoming games. So there are probably a lot of demos in here that you can download for free and try some different games. So, you know, if you're concerned about not having the ability to play games because you just don't have the money for it, this is a great alternative. Just go out, download Steam, sign up for your free account, pick a game that you like, look Look for the free games. So go into the store, look around for the specials and for the free to play games and pick something that you think you might like to play. The cool thing is if you don't like it, you can always uninstall it and take it back off your computer. You'll still own the game, but it won't be taking up your hard drive space. And I do this all the time. I've got a bunch of games on my Steam account but I only have the ones that I play on my computer. So I don't waste my disk space on something I'm not playing right now. So give it a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised if you've never done this before. And you know, you've kind of given up on computer games because they just cost too much money and you don't want to spend 70 bucks on a game and get it. And then it sucks. It won't run. There's all kind of issues with the gameplay, yada, yada, yada. Go to Steam, get you a free game that's been out for a while that you've never played before. So it's new to you. And more than likely, the bugs have been basically worked out of it. <laughs> you know, some games they just never, some days it's kind of like a meme. I mean, it, I mean, I love Ark. I've been playing it since it came out. It's kind of my happy place. I keep going back to playing it, even though it's been out for a long time. But to say Ark's not a glitchy game, you got to be the ultimate fanboy because it has its problems. Every game does. You know, you just got to work through it. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope this is something that you can go out and do today and get everything set up for yourself so that you can enjoy gaming, whether you had to take a break because you just didn't have the funds to worry about this. Because I know, I mean, times are tough right now. Everybody's got things that they're trying to focus on and prioritize. But guess what? Everybody also needs a little bit of entertainment and everybody needs a little bit of fun in their life. So this is a way you can do it for free. Doesn't cost you anything. Give it a shot. I hope this helps you. And hey, if it helps you out, drop a like. It really helps me out with all those YouTuberisms and, and gets my videos out there more. And if you really appreciate the kind of videos that I make, think about reaching down there and hitting that big red rectangle. It's absolutely free <laughs> to join. Old gamers never die. And you hit the notification bell, you'll get notified whenever I post new videos. So you can kind of come and watch and see what we're doing. We also have a Discord and the link is in the description below. Come out to the Discord, join us again for free. And you can see the kind of games that we have on our servers that you can play with us. You can also join a great community where people are always talking about gaming and life in general. We've got creators in the channel. We've got players in the channel. We've got people that don't play video games at all, but just like to hang out with us. Come on out and give that a shot. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos. And this is Yuli signing out.